it was such a life where 90, 95% of the wrestling profession was traveling. And after years, it gets boring. So you had some characters in, in, that would pull the classic, the rib. The rib was a thing within the business. Some guys were ribbers, some guys weren't ribbers. I would never rib anybody, because I did not want the revenge rib. And I was lucky, because I had that reputation of being a hooker, so no one really ribbed me. But guys like Fuji and some other guys, would they loved to rib you, just to break the monotony of boredom. And, um, I mean, they would do things like if someone fell asleep in the dressing room on a table, they'd put four or five strips of that white tape on your boot and light it on fire. So all of a sudden you'd wake up and this big flame, you'd have a giant hot foot, and you'd start jumping around, putting it on, Fuji would laugh his ass off. But you were afraid to do a revenge rib to Fuji because he would do a more ridiculous rib back. Yeah. So I never got involved in the rib games. But one time he gets his hands on this thing that for some reason cracked him up. The, the, the stuff that makes you go to the bathroom. The laxatives. Yeah, the laxatives. And Haystacks Calhoun, who can barely get on the plane to begin with through the door, because he's 610 pounds. <laughs> I mean, his butt is this wide. He's on there and Fuji's ex-laxing something into his coffee and stuff. And so, so it happened to the flight, and he got like a 13-hour flight you know, to Tokyo. So we're in the middle of the ocean, on our way to Tokyo, and Calhoun is dying. He is dying. You can hear him like he's squirting out farts. He's dying. He's got the cramps. He can't hold it. Finally, he tried, but he can't. You know, the lavatories on an airplane, you slide the little things open. It's this wide. Yeah. Haystacks couldn't get one half of his ass in there, let alone his ass. So in the back of the plane behind the curtain, these poor Japanese doing it. There's two of them and they're holding a big garbage bag under his ass. And you can hear it squirting and some moans because the smell coming out. And people were, some people were gagging. Some of the Japanese people were laughing their asses off. Thank God in those days you could smoke and all the Japanese smokes, at least the plane was full of smoke and killed some of the stench. But it was, and Fuji was dying, I mean, unbelievable. It was, it, you had to be there to really appreciate the scope of that. But it was a classic.